Welcome back to another episode of Eat, Pray, Hustle. I'm your host, Bobby Billions, and today, today we're gonna talk about what it's like to live with the BMW i8. when we got pushed in the house for quarantine. We needed an outlet for ourselves, for business, and, and just as a, some documentation for our family, uh, Alicia Rosebud and myself, we have four children together. And you know, this, if nothing more, we wanted a collection for the kids to look at. It's turned into so much more. So a lot of you guys don't know, this is the place where we shot the first video, what I didn't know before buying a BMW i8. To date, that's our uh, most watched video on the channel, and thank you guys so much. If you're watching this video, make sure that you please consider subscribing, and please comment and like on the video. So guys, let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's address it. That's what we're here for. What's life like living with the BMW i8? Honestly, I have a hard time thinking at night what else I would want instead. It is the perfect car. I'm starting my campaign today why the BMW i8 is the best car in the world. This is a 2016. We drive this car. Uh, you got a chance to see now on the channel that we have some other vehicles uh, that we love, uh, we absolutely love. This gets driven. Uh, it doesn't sit. We're out with it every weekend. We can it's, it's, it was purchased as a commuter because of its fuel economy. Fuel economy is amazing. All right, so back to why the BMW i8 is the best car ever invented. So let's just go over a couple things. It is the only car ever invented with the all-wheel drive system uh, of two different power sources of two different drivetrains. You have an electric motor in the front and you have a gas motor in the rear. The same type of hybrid technology that is being used in hypercars today. The only difference is the BMW i8 uses a 1.5 liter three cylinder Mini Cooper motor in the rear. So if it was a supercharged V6, a V8, V10, V12, now you're talking LaFerrari, Sony, Steg. The BMW i8 is classified as an electric car. So if you buy brand new, you will get that electric car tax credit. It has an EV fuel door in the front and then your gas door in the rear. It's amazing. It's an electric car that you never have to worry about range anxiety. You, you could go your whole time owning this vehicle and never plug it in. Or like myself, you can plug it in every night uh, to make sure that you can get that up to 76 miles per miles per gallon or mpge personally like i said on the last video i average somewhere around 34 miles per gallon so if it's not like uh, if i'm not running around with the mclarens and the, and the porsches then 25 bucks a week gets me everywhere i need to go but if it's supercar weekend maybe 20 a day the car does not get the credit it deserves as far as speed uh, it governs at 155. Personally, I've had it. Everything we've done to the car so far, not to board the warranty, because it is still under warranty, has been cosmetic. We have done the full wrap with race stickers on top, tire stickers or tire letters, whatever you want to call them, underglow, and then also the wheel lights, radar detector, dash cam, professionally installed, comes on and off with the car. I highly recommend to do that to if, especially if you just have a, a primary vehicle um, it, it's so nice to have eyes and ears inside and outside the car everywhere the car goes it gets attention it's doing its job in advertising and marketing for the businesses come on let's take a closer look 
so it's not quite dark enough guys for us to uh, play with the lights but again the original spec on this car was gorgeous the blue you can see the only exposed part from the wrap uh, Josh from blacked out killed it with the door jams just killed the wrap in general so we started with the great spec and it's the guys it's the perfect road trip car it's the perfect gt car i sit on that bench seal all the time uh sometimes i'll sit there and i'll eat my lunch it sounds good the performance is amazing okay i want you guys to tell me what else on the market has upright doors and is all wheel drive that's right a lamborghini aventador that's pretty much your options so guys, something else that happened while we had this car with the underglow coming back, we you know, we decided to start an all Christian car club, followers of Jesus, called the Light Riders. We'd like you to have underglow. That's the goal. So we all glow at night. We're going to do some things called Light Church. And we're going to host a lot a lot of car events in this parking lot. Next time you see this parking lot, it's going to be full of supercars because God is good. God is good. And if you ask of your father, he will provide for you. So let me show you a little closer. Let's talk about some of the features. These are things that you already know, guys. I know that you already know that the car is entirely encompassed in carbon fiber. The doors the monocoque chassis but around the trunk seal I know that you know the whole car is covered in carbon fiber so let me explain exactly how the all-wheel drive system works or how the how the how it charges how the system charges so this is the only electric car that refills its own electric battery from putting it in its most aggressive sport mode so when you're in sport mode the car is gaining I call them power pellets, like, like Pac-Man going around the maze grabbing power pellets until you reach about 100 miles per hour and then the car begins to grab energy. The electric assist happens and you're using the gas and electric and then it's taking electricity away from you but you're blasting off into outer space. Life with the BMW i8. Check it out, check it out. Um, I love, the car is so comfortable, okay? First of all, before we before we go anywhere. I mean, it. look, I got my, my stuff back there. It's got room for everything. I'm super comfortable. It's like a Cadillac in here. Uh, it's not too much. Beautiful beautiful most comfortable car ever best car ever all right so here's the startup when the car starts it always starts in comfort mode uh, with that professional install of the uh, dash cam and radar detector that's what you heard there I have it on a five minute loop it does record audio you can turn that off if you don't want it to so right right, right now the car's on and it's in comfort. Comfort mode is a blend of gas and electric. A little bit more gas than electric. Eco Pro is also a blend. A little bit more electric than gas. Sport mode is the most aggressive mode. Where the engine's on, ready, ready to go. You're kicking ass with that three cylinder Mini Cooper gas engine. Until you need more from the electric engine in the front. When you turn the car on in comfort mode like this, even though the gas engine, um, it's not totally engaged. It'll start me out in electric and then kick the gas engine on a little sooner than later. The, the other one, Eco Pro, you stay with electric a little bit more, but it blends you, blends you. Eco Pro is the most economical mode. So right now you can tell I have, if you can see there guys, I have three, I have three miles of electric battery. I can fill that up by just putting it in sport mode. Automatic side view mirrors, which is a plus. 
the infotainment is controlled with this wheel. You can draw on this. So, does this car have Apple CarPlay? No, it doesn't. I don't miss it, don't need it. It doesn't bother me at all. I just use the car's Bluetooth and it's no problem at all. Satellite radio, regular radio, everything I need is right here. After a while, it becomes really easy to use. This menu is really easy to use. I have a cool storage compartment here. This is where I keep, this is one of the remotes to the lights, another remote to the light. Three cup holders, which is plenty. 12 volt here. This pretty much needs to be up, and this is a flush mount USB. This pretty much needs to be up when you have anything charging. But if you're parked, if you're chilling, you just have this up and maybe you're charging your GoPro or your headlamp or um, this is charging my phone. So I don't use this to charge my phone. All right, guys. So promises from now on, I'm going to do my best to try to bring you these i8 experiences more often because it is the best car in the world upright doors all-wheel drive electric car hybrid car great amazing price point all right so when i open the doors guys i pretty much i just don't like the way that it looks with the doors up and the side view mirrors out so i always do this before i open the door now if the car's on if i open the door without my seatbelt on the car is going to turn itself off um, and give me a gong. So I'm gonna turn the car off first, then open the door, and then go close my trunk. I keep this here in case I want to flip my phone for running ways. Uh, that way I'll have my dash cam radar detector and running ways for added protection. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but do not try to do donuts in an all wheel drive car. It will not work out. I don't care if it's snowing, raining. Sometimes you can throw the back end loose. But for the most part, you can forget about all that drifting in the all-wheel drive. But that's what you want. That's why you have all-wheel drive. We are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania right now, ladies and gentlemen. And please let me tell you that you need all-wheel drive in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Power seats. Seats go up and down for the driver. Both seats go forward and backward power. The sound system on this is amazing. There's a glass panel back there. So this enclosure for the sound, I mean, it's like, and all the carbon fiber, how it's just uh, solid. It's just a very well-built car. It really is. It's a good quality car. It's a well-built car. Don't, I won't let anybody say anything bad about the BMW i8. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, that's right. The BMW i8, best car in the world. You know, I want comfort. You want it to be a car still. I mean, you're not, this is, this, this is so special because you can daily drive it, but it's an all digital dash. If you can't tell, lets you know everything that you need to know. And visibility, visibility is great. I can see very clear out my back window. My side views are great. I even, those, those arrow cuts in the hips, I can see through them. It gives me a little extra. light rider car we have no fear of the darkness because we ride on the light guys if you want to be a light rider i need you to go to lightriderscc.com again guys that's lightriderscc.com as long as you are a follower of jesus you've made that commitment and you can do so 
in just a few short words. Guys, close your eyes. Say, Heavenly Father, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I love you. That's it. In just a few short words, you start your new, fresh spiritual journey from that point on. And allow him, ask him, invite him into your life and allow him to work in your life. And you'll see for yourself. There's nothing I can tell you. There's nothing Joel Olstein can tell you. There's nothing T.D. Jakes can tell you that you can't experience for yourself. We're all just brothers and sisters. I've started my journey, but it's a journey. I have so much to learn, so much to experience, so I, I will be tested. It doesn't mean that you're perfect. It doesn't mean that I'm perfect, you know? So when you tell someone you're a follower of Jesus, you know, you, it doesn't mean that uh, you're saying that you're holier than thou. Don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry, don't worry about any of that stuff. Worry about your life. Worry about your salvation. Worry about your family's life. Worry about your protection. You know? Don't worry about what people think. Alright, so, guys, we got six miles of battery. So we racked up six power pellets in that short time on the turnpike. Let's switch it to electric. And you can go from manual sport straight to electric. And trust me, keep this in mind also, when it comes to speed and sound, a lot of guys, you know this, a lot of times with those really loud supercar or sport cars, you sound a lot faster than you really are. So you get a lot of negative attention that could get you tickets or, or accidents when you're not really even going that fast. Now keep in mind, when it's in all electric mode, you're front wheel drive only. Which sometimes is cool, but that's the only mode that is not all wheel drive. We got off the turnpike with six miles of all electric, and we have three miles of all electric. We'll see if we can make it to the house. It's gonna be close. Normally when I get off the turnpike, I have a little bit more battery uh, because I've saved some, but I started the day. I didn't plug in last night. And that's so funny because when I made the first, what I didn't know before buying a BMW i8, I forgot to plug it in the night before. So that is just, that's really cool, you know? I, but that gave me an opportunity to show, who cares? You don't have range anxiety. If you need some battery, just throw it in a sport mode. You hear that? <laughs> Yo, where, where, what else is that smooth? That sounds like a symphony. Hold on, you want to hear break and regenerative rate? Yeah. Maybe if I stop talking. Uh, if I would upgrade from this vehicle. I guess it right now it would be a McLaren 720S or all right I mean like let's be serious a McLaren 765 LT but I mean like they're 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 you're starting to lose radios and stuff there you know All right let's turn on some lights There we go all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure you hit that like button comment below if you have a bmw i8 or if this video made you want to get one and remember eat pray hustle 